I'm such a natural. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ella Dove, and this is What the Wellness, the show where I try out the latest and greatest wellness trends, treatments, and experiences to find out what's weird and what's actually worth it. Today, I'm pretty much living my dream at Shakti Ranch in Malibu, California, where I'm going to be doing horseback yoga. So just to set the record straight, I do yoga, I've ridden horses, I've never done horseback yoga, and until I heard about Shakti Ranch, I had never even heard of horseback yoga. I'm definitely gonna learn a little bit more about what the session is going to entail, but here's what I know going in. Equine therapy has been around for a long time. Horses are a very intuitive animal, and they are said to help you connect better with kind of your inner self. So to me, it makes sense that doing yoga alongside horses might help you take your practice just a little bit deeper. Hi, my name is Natalie Riggs and I am an equine therapist. We're here at my home and my business, Shakti Ranch in beautiful Malibu, California. Horses have this really beautiful way of energetically showing what's happening on the inside with the inner psyche of someone and they do it through their body, through their ears, yeah. through some sounds and because they're about, their heart is about 10 times the size of our heart, there's a way that their being, their calmness, the way that they naturally are, is influencing our body. And so like the same way a horse, they say a horse knows if you're scared, a horse will know what else you're feeling and kind of react to that for you. Exactly. Well, let's go hang out with Sophie. Yeah, let's do it. This horse right over here that you're about I to meet. I can't wait to meet her. This is Sophie. Hello, Sophie. And Sophie is is who you're going to be doing yoga on. Great. Hi, Sophie. All right. Come on, light foot in. Yep. Oh, I'm a natural. Perfect. Kind of. Uh huh. Swing your leg over. Beautiful. Oh, that was great. You did it. I did it. That was perfect. It's oh, it's interesting being bareback. Like I can really feel the horse. Right. You can really so feel much the more horse. than being in a saddle. Yeah. All right, babe, yeah. let's do some yoga. As you feel comfortable, I would love for you to start to draw your arms up and starting to come up into a sun salutation, looking up at the sky. And then on the exhale, drawing your hands into prayer and coming down, down, down the middle and just imagining that energy. And as you're ready, we're gonna come into our cat cow pose. Oh, great. Cat cow on a horse, so many animals. Drawing your hands up on either Sophie's withers. These are her tangible. withers? Yeah, those are her withers. Hello, Sophie's withers. You're going to start to draw your knees back into coming into that tabletop. Am I pose. literally getting a tabletop right now? You're literally getting into tabletop okay, cool. right now. <laughs> I think I can do it, so let's do it together. And very nice. I kind of feel like because I'm doing this on a horse, I have like a buddy doing it with me. Exactly, right? You're, it's, you're not alone. Unbeknownst to the people that are watching, you're doing a lot. Yeah, this is not easy. <laughs> yeah, this is good. So you're going to inhale, look up, drop your belly. Beautiful. That's our that's our cow. You can moo if you want. <laughs> I want you to come back into the tabletop. From there, I'm going to guide you into downward dog on Sophie. Okay, Sophie, you're gonna do me a favor and stay very still with me. Yep. So inhale, exhale up. And now allow your neck to drop, uh-huh. And I want you to breathe here. Inhale to the count of two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and then coming back down into tabletop. What are you noticing in your body? I feel honestly very centered. I mean, you can't focus on anything else. No. Yeah, right? like all I can do is try not to fall off this horse. No, no, yeah. you can't think about the things you have to do yeah. later today or the thing that somebody said to you yesterday that I mean, irritated I'm, you yeah, no. or, right, no, no, it's like you're right here right now. Definitely um, a lot harder to do a downward dog on a horse. Like my abs do not fire up that much when I'm no. not on a horse, no. but right. I like it. It's like, right, as you're ready, you're gonna come back into your downward dog and now you're going to inhale your left leg, uh -huh. yep, and then 
drop it back down. And like my downward dog doesn't yeah. look great, but I can lift my leg. Yeah, and now your opposite leg on the exhale and coming back down. Uh huh. Yep. Do you feel like you almost I feel like, did I feel a like I'm getting a much class. more of a workout than I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. So from here, we're going to come into to camel pose. Have your hips over your knees. And now begin to, using your core in the back of your body, begin to lift up, up, up. Yep, just like that, there you are. And you look like a goddess up there. I'm just, I have to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> Feel a little bit like a goddess. Noticing what you notice in your body because we've worked really hard actually. Yeah, my shoulders and my abs are definitely like yeah. activated. Then as you're ready, you'll begin to draw yourself back up and we're going to take Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to feel this amazing and gentle support of this 1300 pound animal <laughs> underneath you. Feeling the breeze on your skin, the sun on your face. <laughs> Sophie's little, like, we're ready to wake up now. A little bit of movement. And Good. as you're ready, begin to push yourself up. And I can even open. Okay, there you go. You can. Let's lap. Okay. Sophie, thank you. That was amazing, Natalie. Yeah. That moment right there, that was like right. just all completely beautiful. Yeah. You just have to trust that they're gonna yeah. keep supporting you and you're not gonna throw me off. Exactly. It's a lot of trust. Yeah. Okay, so I just did about an hour of horseback yoga and my number one takeaway is that it was way more yoga than I was expecting to do. Kind of like I said at the beginning, when I heard horseback yoga, I thought I'd be like doing some deep breathing, maybe some prayer poses. I feel like of all the things I've done on the show, this has been the most rewarding. I was able to go through an hour of this horseback yoga and really kind of push myself, really get out of my comfort zone and you know show off my skills a little bit. So weird or worth it? I love horses, so, so worth it, honestly, hands down, 100% the best thing I've ever done with the wellness. Whether you're riding or doing horseback yoga, you really have to be all in. I was hyper aware of my core and my back and my shoulders, insanely aware of my breath and when I was inhaling and when I was exhaling. Breath, no big surprise, is a huge part of yoga. But when you're in class, it's really easy to like zone out and just go through the motions of the class without really focusing on your breath and how you're feeling. You don't have that option when you're on the back of a horse and I hope I can take what happened today into the rest of my fitness routines, into my yoga classes, and keep that intense focus on my body, on my movement, on my breath, as I work through the motions of a standard yoga class, not on horseback. I'm Ella Dove, and this is What The Wellness. Want more What The Wellness? Subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel right now. Or, do you have something I should go try? Please let me know in the comments below.